It's shaping up to be a carbon tax Christmas this year. Not something to be particularly jolly about. So what gives? Well, just a few weeks ago, the NDP and Liberal parties voted to increase the carbon tax yet again. And the price increase will take effect next year. A nice little New Year's gift to us all from the federal government. Except Canadians are struggling. Moms are having to choose between feeding their kids and keeping the lights on. Parents are worried about losing their houses to ever-increasing interest rates. And people are having to take on second jobs just to make ends meet. So why are the feds doing this? Well, frankly, because the government is making a ton of money off of it. So why not increase it and make it more? Except the problem is, the carbon tax hasn't done a thing to lower emissions here in Canada. In fact, our emissions keep going up, despite the carbon tax having gone up every year. But it doesn't have to be this way. In America, where they unleashed fracking and have never had a carbon tax, they actually decreased their emissions by 20%. We should do the same thing here. Let's unleash our natural gas industry and shift our focus from a narrow-minded look at domestic emissions and focus globally. If we can displace coal burning in places in South Asia and Europe with our best-in-world sustainable oil and gas products, imagine the worldwide impact we could have. And we can use carbon tech to keep it all as low emissions as possible. It's a win-win. Instead, this government thinks the solution is to punish you at the pump, at the grocery store, and on your monthly gas and electricity bills. It's not fair. It's not compassionate, and it's not working. Will common sense return to Canada? Let's hope so soon, before the carbon tax Christmas steals every last dollar we have. <laughs>